You're watching Balcony TV Sydney and we're filming here in Bondi. My name is Cassie, this is Sam Jewell. How are you? Hi, Cassie. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yeah. J-O-O-L for those of you who are... E. E. At the end too. Lucky I've got this one here to remind me. Beautiful, beautiful album. How are you going today? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Now, what song are we going to hear from you? I'm going to do Love Will Set You Free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's on my new album, not on that one. Not on this one, but this one's beautiful artwork. It's nice to look at. Yeah. Cool. Let's hear it. Cheers. How am I to love you? I can't even pick up the phone I don't even know you It won't be the last time alone How am I to show you? How am I to change you? I don't even know you It won't be the last time alone Love will set you free Rewrite history Take your bleeding heart when you're feeling down Love will set you free Love will set you free Rewrite history and set you free Take your bleeding heart when you're feeling down Love will set you free Love will set you free Love will set you free Everything has changed since you stepped on that plane Blinding my emotion through your blue-blooded veins Now I don't even know you It won't be the last time alone it won't be the last time alone it won't be the last time love will set you free rewrite history and set you free take your bleeding heart when you're feeling down love will set you free How am I to love you? I can't even pick up the phone Thanks Sam, that was gorgeous. Thank you. Now you did say that that's not on this album. No. It's on an album that is sitting there waiting to be released. Yeah, I'm actually going to put out that song next week. Okay. So, yeah, just a single before the album, so... And you did record this new album here in Australia? Yeah. Uh, between here and Byron, is that correct? Yeah. Cool, cool. So how, how was that? Know? I'm amazing. <laughs> and I also stalked you. <laughs> it's on your website, for those of you who do want to know the nitty gritty. Uh, how was it working back here in Australia on the record? It, it was really good. Really enjoyed it. The last album I made, this one, The Crest and the Moon, was 
kind of a travel diary. I checked into different studios all over the world and I worked with a lot of random musicians and uh, that was amazing. But um, nothing like the people you know and the places you know and like kind of a comfortable ground to work up a record on, you know. So did that, uh, the experience for this album, did that kind of, I guess, inspire you to, to be based in the one place and to have those same musicians and, and have that experience for this album? Uh, it just sort of happened. I, I just, uh, I write, you kind of don't really choose when you write. It, it sort of just chooses when, the song chooses when it's going to come out of you. And when I was traveling around, that album just made itself and the new one's done the same thing here. I've just been around Australia and it's, yeah. Because you are based here in Sydney and I do understand that you do gig, gig quite a lot and whenever you can. But uh, you have spent a lot of time overseas as well. So how do you find the, the industry, I guess, here compared to overseas? It's a good question. <laughs> um, <Answer> honestly. <laughs> honestly. Uh, I think Australia is unique in the fact that, uh, you know, musicians can make a living here. Uh, I don't see that in other places. Um, I think that's a plus of Australia. And I think uh, original music is encouraged here. And... Um, uh, independent and more humble music is encouraged here whereas in some other places it's not um, on the other side of things I think uh, Australia uh, could probably embrace its roots music a little bit more and its indigenous music a little bit more if you look at you know other massive music movements like North America and what have you, it's usually a combination of the roots music and the popular music all fusing together. It's not usually the country sort of following other trends. And I think Australia kind of looks a lot to the other markets and stuff like that. And yeah. they probably don't need to. The music here is really good and really original and authentic. So. Yeah, great point. I've honestly never actually thought about that. On you know, I've obviously noticed it, but it's a really great point and, and good observation you've made from, from your travels. So you are back here for, for a little while. You've got an album that's about to be released. So what's the plan for, for your new release? Uh, I'm just going to put out a song kind of every month for a while. Uh, the album's pretty done and just going to play it. And whoever's watching, please tune in and listen to it. Enjoy. And you can still get this record as well. It is still on shelves online in boxes available to buy. So make sure you do get your hands on it because it's not only gorgeous artwork but a gorgeous record so uh we'll, we'll let you get back to it because i'm sure you probably got a gig somewhere soon thanks coming up no doubt but thanks so much for joining us here on the balcony you've been watching balcony tv sydney balcony tv